is up guys and we are back with another video and I've been waiting to make this video for a while and I finally got the chance because I got to level up Yanfei's talents. Today we are going to be doing Yanfei versus Ning Wang. So let's see if Ning Wang is still the queen of four star DPS characters or if Yanfei takes that crown from her. We're going to test that out. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. First, let's see how close her stats are. So we're going to be using the best sets for both characters. In Yanfei's case, you can be using Wanderer's Troop. You can be using Crimson Witch. You can be using Retracing Bolide. There's multiple different sets you can use. I'm using Wanderer's Troop in this situation. And with Wanderer's Troop, I have 1640 attack and 167% crit damage. And the weapon I'm going to be running on both characters is going to be the Lost Prayer. And I'm going to keep their stats as close as possible. That way we get a good idea of how much damage each is doing at an equal playing field. So let's go ahead and take a look at Ning Wang. Okay, so my Ning Wang has 1954 attack and she has 170% crit damage. So the crit damage is only 3% higher, not even, maybe 2.5% higher. And the attack is a lot higher and you guys are probably already typing in the comments like oh my god the attack is higher this isn't a fair test well hear me out before you exit out of the video let me explain something real quick and the reason that is is because i'm using the two-piece glad set and two-piece archaic set which is one of the best sets for ning wang you can also run two-piece archaic and two-piece noblesse i'm just running glad in this situation and just to prove to you guys their base attack is as close as possible you guys can see right here my yan face base attack is at 783 with just a one star weapon because my Ning Wang is holding the weapon. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove Ning Wang's weapon right here. And as you guys can see, her base attack is 855. So all this extra base attack is coming from Gladiator. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually take off the Gladiator set. Okay, so as you guys can see right here, I took off the Gladiator set and now my base attack is at 766. And then when we look at the talents of both characters, my normal attack is eight, my E ability is nine and my burst is 11. And Ning Wang is the exact same thing. My normal attack is eight, my Jade screen is nine and my burst is also 11. So they basically have identical stats as well as identical talents. So this is gonna be the fairest test you can do. Let's go ahead and just jump into the actual testing. Okay, so, so the things we're gonna be looking at are gonna be the normal and charge attacks, their E ability and their burst, as well as their full combo and how much DPS each has. And then we're gonna go into an actual boss battle and see how they both do. So for Yan phase testing, I'm going to be running her with both Sing Chu and without Sing Chu, so you guys get a good idea of how it looks like with and without reactions. Unfortunately for Ning Wang, she is a Geo character, she doesn't have reactions. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with Yan Fei. Let's go ahead and look at her normal attack chain. Okay, so now that we saw Yan Fei's auto attack chain with and without vaporize, let's go ahead and take a look at Ning Wang's and then compare the DPS. Okay, so we just saw both auto attack chains for both characters and we saw both the DPS for both characters. And honestly, I'm really, really impressed with Ning Wang because you guys have to consider that Ning Wang has no reactions and the fact that she's only 2k DPS behind Yan Fei, who basically triggered reactions every single time is insane. And the craziest part is Yan Fei is getting a 35% charge attack bonus because she's using the Wanderer's Troop set. Ning Wang isn't getting any additional charge attack bonus, but the fact that she's only 2k DPS behind Yan Fei, who's supposed to be a charge attack damage dealer, is actually pretty impressive. Okay, so now let's go ahead and compare the E and Q ability for both characters, and then we're going to go into a full combo and then a showcase. Okay guys, do we honestly need to test any further? I think it's pretty clear who does more damage compared to Ning Wang and Yan Fei. I know up to this point before we tested the burst, it seemed pretty close. You could even argue that Yan Fei was doing more damage, but when it comes to the burst, Ning Wang absolutely destroys Yan Fei. She is doing 88,000 damage with just her burst alone. Just to put that in perspective, how insane that actually is. If we add up all of Yan Fei's things that we tested and she vaporized on, it would total up to 81,000. So that includes her entire normal and charge attack chain and her E ability and her burst. All that together equals 81,000. 
Ning Wang with her burst by itself hits 88,000. And some of you might be confused, what does it mean by screen and no screen? So if you guys don't know about Ning Wang or aren't familiar with Ning Wang, so Ning Wang herself shoots six star jades, and then if she has her screen up, it shoots an additional six. But we're still going to look at Yanfei and Ning Wang's entire combo because there are some things included in both of their kits that boost their damage. So starting with Yanfei, the normal combo you want to do is start off with Sing Chu and apply Hydro on the enemy with your E and Q. And then immediately after that, you're going to use your Burst and your E ability. And then what that does is, if you guys don't know, Yanfei's Burst actually increases her charge attack damage and it gives you Scarlet Seals. And at C6, you get four Scarlet Seals compared to three, which you would normally. So once you do your Burst and E ability, you're immediately gonna get four Scarlet Seals. Then you do your Charge Attack, which is gonna be boosted by your Q, and it's gonna be boosted because you have four Scarlet Seals. And then you do your normal Auto Attack Chain. But this time when you're doing your normal Auto Attack Chain, instead of having three Scarlet Seals, you'll have four because you get one every second. And another important thing for Yanfei's combo is after she uses that initial charge attack, she's going to be getting a 20% pyro damage bonus because she's going to have four seals and then for each seal, she's going to have 5% pyro damage bonus. And this is actually her passive talent. So we're going to go ahead and see what that looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and calculate the damage for you guys and put it up on screen. And we're going to see what that total DPS is like for Yanfei's entire combo. Okay, so now it's Ning Wang's turn to see her full combo, and there are some things we have to mention just like we did with Yan Fei. And Ning Wang's combo is pretty simple, there's no reactions you have to worry about. Basically, you just put your screen down, you walk through, you use your burst, and then you do your charge attack. And then you just put another screen down. So the first step of walking through the screen is because Ning Wang's passive talent, every time you walk through the screen, you get a 12% geo damage bonus. And then if you come to her C2, basically this resets her screen, meaning if it breaks or you use your burst, it gives you another screen. So when you walk through your first screen and immediately use your burst, your cooldown for your screen would be reset. And the last thing is, the reason we're doing our charge attack after we walk through the screen and use our burst is because once we use our burst, we get seven additional star jades that we can shoot out once we use our charge attack. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Also, when you guys see the slow-mo replay and you guys are wondering, wait, some of these numbers aren't crits, are you counting that? So don't worry about that because you guys are only seeing one replay. I've done this over and over and over. I'm just not including every single clip because it's just going to take too long. But in my calculations, when you guys see the full damage number, that includes every single attack critting. And there we go, that pretty much wraps up all the testing. I think the results are pretty clear. It's not much you can really argue against Ning Wang. She absolutely just demolishes Yanfei in terms of DPS. But there are some things going for Yanfei as well, and I'm not saying Yanfei is bad. She is still a top tier DPS. But in terms of 4 star DPS, there is just no comparison to Ning Wang. Because her burst just scales so high and has such high multipliers, it's just pretty hard to match that, right? And the crazy part is, as you guys can see by the numbers, Yanfei took around 6 seconds to do her full combo, whereas Ning Wang only took around 4 seconds to do her full combo. Even if Yanfei didn't have a Jade screen up, meaning she didn't get 6 additional star Jades on her burst, and her burst did half damage, she would still be doing more damage than all of Yanfei's combo. It would be 120,000 to 122,000. And since Ning Wang's combo is faster, she still has a lot higher DPS, even if she doesn't have her screen up. But that's not saying that there's no cons to Ning Wang. One big con for Ning Wang is, if you're fighting multiple enemies and you use your burst, that damage gets split among all those enemies, right? Whereas Yanfei, it's one instance of damage, of AoE damage, it hits all of them for the same amount. And another huge pro for Ning Wang that Yanfei can't even compete in, is with C2, Ning Wang has two charges of her E ability. One thing that holds Yanfei back is her E ability only has one charge, right? And why that's bad is because her burst has an 80 energy cost. So even though her DPS is really high when you use her burst and do her full combo, the chances of your burst being up compared to someone like Ning Wang is a lot lower. Because Ning Wang on the other hand, her burst does insane damage and it only has a 40 energy cost. So it's basically doing double damage and it has half the energy cost. That's why you really can't argue why Yanfei would be a better DPS. It's just, it's just insane. And on top of that, she gets two charges of her E ability with C2. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to say too much more. I think it's pretty obvious what the results are. And you know, my wife who's still the strongest, I don't care what you guys say. Uh, I mean, I like Yanfei, I'm using her, I leveled her up to 90, but there is still a queen, and that's the queen of Geo. But that's pretty much it for me guys, thank you guys for watching, I will see you guys next time.